Today we'll show how to make various awesome vintage textile brooches. The first one will be decorated with a large pearl cabochon. Take a piece of felt and cut out a small square. Gather wide pale pink lace across one edge. Hot glue to attach the pleats. You'll get this cute detail. Take a light beige satin ribbon and snip off the end. Form a loop, fastening with hot glue. Hot glue the curls. Continue folding the ribbon. We need a four loop detail. Gather thin white lace in the same way as the pink one. Add a bit of hot glue to the pale pink tool. Attach the white lace. Stick the gather detail on top. Thread up pins through beads. Cut off the excess with cutting pliers. Make loops with round nose pliers. Repeat for all the other beads. Add hot glue to the back part of the lace detail to attach to the felt base. Stick the ribbon element above. Embellish the brooch with the beads on top of the lace. Add hot glue to a metal blank setting to attach the cabochon. Press over. Take a thin beige ribbon. Hot glue, fold and twist the end. Start shaping a rose flower carefully, rolling up the ribbon with your fingers. Make another flower of soft pink color in the same way. Attach the roses to the felt base. Cut out four to five petal shaped elements from a dense lace. Stick them to the brooch. Add hot glue to the ribbon detail in the center to attach the pearl cabochon. Stick a metal pin back to the felt base. The gorgeous lace brooch with the pearl cabochon in the center will add a touch of romance to your outfit. Let's make another accessory. Start with the felt base, cut out a small square. Add a little hot glue to the center. Attach a dense beige cord end. Make snail shaped coils adding hot glue as far as needed. Cut off the excess cord and felt. Take a burgundy cord, fasten the end and start shaping a rose. Add hot glue from time to time. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the end to the back side. Cut out a 1 inch strip from beige knit fabric. Fasten the end and roll up to form a rose. Add hot glue when needed. Hot glue the end to the back side. Make another of the same textile rose. Take thin, light gray fabric and roll up a smaller flower. Thread a cap and add a bead onto a pin. Make the same details from the rest of the elements. Attach the details to the cord snail base.
continue decorating the brooch with the rest of the small embellishments. Use hot glue to adhere. Attach a pin back. The fabulous spray brooch will perfectly match a wool suit or dress. Beautiful! The smart vintage brooches can be worn on different occasions. The splendid lace accessory will match an evening dress, while the lovely flower brooch will go with the casual outfit. In our today's tutorial, we'll show you how to make a snowflake brooch using lace. We need gray and blue lace, accessories, beads, and a wooden button, white acrylic paint, a hot glue gun. Take a tight lace as a foundation and fix a thread on the lace base. Start putting the lace together onto the needle, stretching little by little. Cut out the excess to form a semicircle. Pull the thread and flatten. Fold the lace of another color. Make a full circle now. We are making a winter decoration. That's why we have chosen these cool shades. Place the lace to form a brooch. Glue the accessory. Decorate the brooch with a wooden button. Take acrylic paint and a sponge and distress the brooch in the center and across the edge. Such a method looks stylish and cool, like a morning hour frost on grass and trees. Our decoration lacks bright accents. Take a decorative nail and bead a blue pearl. Glue it to the back side of the brooch. Do the same with the rest of the dark blue beads. Place the brooch base to cover decoration nails. Fix a pin. A handmade snowflake brooch may become a pretty accessory to your image or a wonderful gift for your close friends for the Christmas holidays. In our today's tutorial, we are going to craft a stylish brooch in the form of a flower from pieces of floral patterned fabric. We will need pieces of fabric, beads, jewelry accessories, a pin, a hot glue gun. We iron several pieces of the floral pattern fabric from both sides. You can use any fabric. We've chosen cotton. Trim up the edges of the cloth using scissors. Form a row center, gluing all sides. Carefully spin the fabric, adding glue to all sides. We go on coiling the cloth layer by layer. It's better to turn the fabric right side up to make the decoration look neat. Continue enlarging the rows using the last two strips of fabric. Do these in the same way. The base of our rose brooch is ready. Decorate it with beads. Take a decorative nail and twist it through a bead. Glue it down to the back side of the brooch so that the bead could be seen from the front side. Attach the rest of the beads in the same way. Take a piece of fabric and draw a circle on the wrong side. Use a glass or ceramic stand. Cut it out. Glue the round piece of fabric to the back side of our rose. You only need to attach a pin. Our handmade fabric brooch is ready. It would add something special to your look or can become a great gift for a close friend. In this tutorial, we'll make a whale-shaped brooch in polymer clay. We'll need polymer clay of different colors, black, white, and blue, a brooch pin back, and multi-purpose glue. Prepare a pattern. Draw a whale outline on thick paper. Make the silhouette recognizable. It resembles a tailed drop. Cut it out with scissors. Lay a protecting cover. Take white clay and shape a ball.
Now roll out with a rolling pin. Done! Repeat for the blue clay. Take a big ball of black clay. Roll it out, but not too thin. Place the pattern on top and press down a bit. Cut out the outline with a craft knife. Remove the pattern. Define the shape. Cut out small white triangles. Repeat for the blue clay. Place the cutouts on the whale. Press the details over a bit. Bake the whale at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Add some glue to the brooch pin. Attach to the whale back. Done! This original minimalism style whale brooch will embellish your outfit or a handbag. In this tutorial, we'll show how to make a smart flower felt brooch decorated with beads. We'll need felt of chocolate, brown, ochre, and gray colors, beads, brown seed beads, a metal brooch pin back, embellishments, metal charms, bead caps and supply pins, and white seed beads. Cut out an inch wide strip from the ochre felt. Hot glue the middle and fold along. Add hot glue to the end and roll up. You'll get a stylized rose. Make chocolate and brown flowers in the same way. Hot glue all three elements to form a spray. Cut out a small felt square and attach to the back side of the brooch. Cut off the excess. Add a drop of hot glue to the center of the light flower. Add dark seed beads to the flower core and press over until dry. Embellish the other roses in the same way using light seed beads. Cut out a leaf shape from the gray felt. Hot glue the center and join the edges to make the leaf volumetric. Make a round element in the same way. Add hot glue to the gray details and attach them to the back side of the brooch. Decorate the spray with beads. Attach with hot glue. Thread a bead cap and a big bead on a supply pin. Hot glue the pin end and tuck it between the flowers. Add charms and embellishments. Fasten the pin back to wear the brooch as a finishing touch. Add hot glue and attach the detail. Let's look at our brooch. Cool! This smart spray brooch will match your casual outfit and add delicate glamour to your image. 
Today, we are going to create an original handmade piece of wire jewelry, a brooch in the form of a branch. To create our accessory, you will need some craft wire. Twist the wire and make a leaf, forming a base. Begin to form. There are no strict rules, you just need to tighten the wire. The wire is flexible and is a convenient option for shaping our frame. Form one solid piece. One by one, try to wind, fold, and twist the wire around the base of the leaves. So now, it is almost ready. In the end, you can bend the base, giving our twig a complete form. Let's proceed to painting. Use a crafting mat to protect your work surface. We'll use nail polish of different colors. Apply some nail polish on the surface of the wire leaf. Hold the brush horizontally over the leaf and try to stretch the polish. Be patient, you need to let the nail polish dry. The next leaf is going to be a different color. The best polish, of course, is a thick lacquer. Continue to work. Accuracy here is the most important thing. The leaves can change colors. Add the final touch. Our colorful wire brooch has dried. Now, take all-purpose glue and carefully apply it to the pin. Now, attach the pin to the wire. Try not to spoil any of the painted surfaces. This is the most important moment. Now, you know how to make interesting wire jewelry. The wire brooch branch with colorful leaves. Comment if you liked this idea. Subscribe to see more interesting workshops on our channel.